Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back so now we will discuss in the right panel when uh, international uh, price level is below the uh, closed economic equilibrium price level right so so definitely uh, when we are uh, under this kind of situation if we open up our international border for international trade okay so domestic equilibrium price also will come down to this op2 level so what will happen look at that time at that price level okay until this say suppose oq3 this is oq3 okay so oq3 amount of consumption of that commodity will be there by the domestic uh, customers right our people people of this country okay so look at here this much of consumption could be there if we don't participate in international trade so this much additional customers q star q3 q star q3 this much additional customers can participate now in trade okay they can they can also purchase that commodity from the market because now market price is op2 way below than op star okay so this much of consumption so oq3 amount of consumption of that product will be there by our society's people out of that only this much say suppose this is q5 only oq5 this quantity will be sold by our producer domestic producer right why because this cs is the domestic supply car this this line cs that line is the domestic supply car okay and since price is when price was op star until this this much until q star level okay domestic producers also able to uh, deliver the product at that price but when price goes down to op2 level okay only this much of producer domestic producer can tolerate that price right so what we are claiming that when we, if this is the international price level op2 is the international price level okay this right panel we are considering now right panel when op2 is the international price level that time if we open up our international border for international trade okay within economy with domestic market also uh, equilibrium price will come down to op2 level at that price level oq3 will be the oq3 oq3 that will be the total amount of consumption of that commodity by our society's people but out of that only oq5 amount of uh, commodity will be delivered by our society's producers only because they can only that much of this much of sellers domestic sellers can tolerate that much op2 level of smaller price okay uh, lower price right so remaining thing how we can consume because our societies are consuming up to q3 level so definitely this much will be our import right because the oq3 amount we are consuming out of that oq5 amount uh, domestically produced or we are purchasing from our domestic producer so remaining thing from where we are purchasing to consume definitely from the producer or from the sellers who are bringing that product or who we are purchasing that from the outside the country okay so we are importing that amount okay so let me let me uh, draw an fs diagram of that thing import situation okay this was the price a d domestic eco economies demand curve c a uh, c s domestic within the domestic economic supply curve okay and this is the o p 2 is the international price level okay so 
this much is our import. So, after this situation who is gaining? Look, if we do not open up our international or uh, open up our boundary or if we do not make our country to participate into international trade, this could be the consumer surplus, this triangular area, shaded triangular area could be the consumer surplus. When we are opening up, uh, when this country is allowed to participate in international trade, consumer surplus is increased to this larger triangular area. Okay. Why? Because until that consumers are consuming, this is the o Q3 and this is actually Q5 in, in, the, in this diagram. Right, this is Q3, this is Q5, this was Q star. Okay. So, this was earlier Q star and this was the of course P star. Right. So, now since this is the price level, O P2 is the price level, O P2 is the price level, okay. At that price level, until this people O Q3 amount of total consumption is happening, and that consumption is by our societal people only. So, what is the consumer surplus? Definitely say suppose this is E 1 point, this was E point. So, definitely total consumer surplus will be A P 2 E 1 that bigger triangular area. So, consumer surplus is increased by this shaded trapezoid area, this shaded trapezoid area right, this, 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 this trapezoid area yellow boundary trapezoid area that much consumer surplus is increasing. Okay. If we do not participate into international trade in this particular scenario, what could be the producer surplus? Producer surplus could be C E P star that amount, right? This could be the producer surplus domestically. When we are opening up the, uh, and participating in the international trade, producer surplus is getting the getting reduced to only this triangular area, this triangular area. Okay. So, producer surplus is reduced by this much. So, what is happening? Consumer surplus is increased by consumer surplus is increased by P star E E 1 P 2 that much amount trapezoid area and producer surplus is reduced by say suppose this point is say K. Producer surplus is reduced by P 2 K E P star. So, consumer surplus is increasing more than the reduction of producer surplus okay. and that, that how much quantity? So, E E 1 K that, that triangular kind of area this, this, this triangular kind of area is the net surplus gain of the society of our society of this country which is participating in international trade through import in this particular case import. So, what is our total surplus? Total surplus is in this particular case total surplus is let me said by the black thing right. Total surplus is this, 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 this area. So, this black shaded area is the total surplus which is more than the a C E that could be the total surplus if we do not open up our uh, country for the international trade. right? So, basically we are getting this much E 1 K amount of increment in net surplus. Okay? So, in this particular case when international price level is below the domestic equilibrium price level that time if we uh, make our economy as open economy from the closed economy consumers will gain, producers will lose, but entire country, entire society will gain, net gain will be positive. So, what message we are getting? Does not matter whether 
from closed economy vis a vis the open economy, if we open up our boundary for the international trade, does not matter whether international price level is above the domestic equilibrium price level or below the domestic equilibrium price level. When it is above the domestic equilibrium price level, we, we are going to engage into export. When it is international price level is below the domestic equilibrium price level, we are going to import. But both the cases, our country is going to get net benefit, total social surplus which could be generated within our country is more than the social surplus that could be generated within the society domestically when we keep our economy as closed economy. So, the first answer to the question what president asked to the uh, that uh, that uh, what is that uh, economic advisors group right. So, first answer is yes madam or yes sir we should participate in international trade we should open up our border for international trade ok. So, that is the first answer second uh, first question answer second question answer is what who will gain and who will lose answer is if we participate into export kind of thing when we are opening up our border if the situation is such that international market price is above that our domestic equilibrium price level we will expo we will be able to export our domestic commodities outside domestically produced commodity outside we can sell so we, we will be able to export and through that when we are engaging into export domestic market consumer our society's consumers will lose our society's producers will gain but gain by the producer will outweigh the loss by the consumers so on a totality our society will gain so when it is export scenario consumers will lose producers will gain on the other hand when it is import scenario that is or when international price level is below the domestic equilibrium price level that time if we participate in international trade we will we will be able to import ok and under that situation consumers of our country our society will gain producers of our society will lose but gain by the consumers as a group will be more than the loss by the producers as a group. On a totality our entire society entire economy will gain only ok. So, first questions answer and second question answers are already done. So, we got the answer yes the country should participate into international trade irrespective of whether international price level is above the domestic equilibrium price level or below the domestic equilibrium price level ok. And when it is above one party will gain another party will lose, but the total gain of the society will be more than the domestically equilibrium hardware uh, surplus we could generate. Alternative scenario when international price level is below the domestic equilibrium price level again we can participate in the international trade ok. In that case we will import and our domestic customers will gain producers will lo lose, but customers gain will be outweighing the producers loss and on a totality the country will gain only. So, we got that both the answers of the first question and second question. Now, the third question is that let us go to a new slide third question is that when we are participating in international trade whether that trade will be restricted or not. As we already clarified when we are exporting there is no point of making trade to be restricted because we it is it is always encouraging because we will earn the foreign currency right. So, that is why the effective question come into the picture that when we are importing from international market ok that time whether we should make trade to be restricted or we should impose some restriction on trade or not. So, third question let us try to answer. So, suppose this is the situation 
quantity demanded as usual we are measuring two quantities in the horizontal axis price in the vertical axis suppose this is the domestic equilibrium or domestic within the domestic or demand curve market demand curve in our country c s uh, c this is c c s is the market supply curve within the domestic market and suppose this is the international price level because we know that it is import situation o p 2 that time we know that this much we are importing right. So, we are importing we, we depend on for our consumption we have to depend on some other countries we have to import that commodity to us to be able to consume right. So, whether we should impose some restriction or not as we mentioned that we can impose restriction two ways let us first discuss if we import some impose some tariff what will happen and then we will discuss if we impose some quota what will happen. So, if we impose some tariff suppose we are import, imposing say rupees 2 per unit of that product okay, as tariff. So, what will happen our, our the trade business house no, who are purchasing that commodity from international market right. So, suppose this is the international market price right international market price is OP 2 right. So, that OP 2 suppose there is a 10 rupee per piece something say pen 10 rupee per piece they are purchasing right. So, when that pen they are going to sell in the domestic market because they are purchasing for what they are importing to sell in the domestic market no. So, when they are going to sell that they have to charge that OP 2 plus 2, 2 rupee because per unit of that pen they have to pay 2 rupee tax to the government that tariff tariff is nothing but the, um, another type of tax right. So, for each pen you have to pay 2 rupee tax to the government ok. So, definitely price will increase by that tariff amount. So, suppose this is the effective price level after the tariff. So, O P 2 prime. So, O P 2 if there is no tariff free import kind of situation if government impose some tariff effective price level will be O P 2 prime ok. So, as a result what could happen you can remember that suppose uh, this was the E point say suppose this is E 1 this is E 2 suppose this is K 1 and this is K 2 point right. So, if there is no tariff ok then what could be the total social surplus our society can gain that surplus could be A E 1 K 1 C that area ok. This, 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 this could be the total social surplus right. But when we are imposing the tariff right domestic price level equilibrium price level is becoming O P 2 prime domestically ok. So, at that price level how much our societal or our domestic suppliers can sell the product until this much right because that price level this is the supply curve domestic supply curve. So, until that much our sellers can sell the product how much of the consumption of that product will happen because at the that price level demand curve until this. So, this will be say Q say 9 suppose Q 9 and this is suppose Q 10 ok. So, after the imposition of the tariff effective price becomes O P 2 prime this is the effective price domestically right. So, at that price level O Q 9 amount of quantity will be total consumption by the domestic customers out of that O Q 10 amount of uh, product will be sold by the domestic sellers. So, definitely Q 10 Q 9 this distance is the this is the 
import amount. So, let me repeat if there is no tariff import could be k 1 u 1 quantity when it is tariff with tariff government is imposing some tariff it is k 2 e 2 amount that k 2 e 2 is basically q 10 q 9 in the horizontal axis whatever we are measuring or uh, whatever notation we follow in the horizontal axis right. So, how much social surplus will be generated just consider what is the consumer surplus and what is the producer surplus at that price. So, at that price consumer surplus will be consumer surplus will be a e 2 p 2 prime that triangular area a e 2 p 2 prime producer surplus will be c k 2 p 2 prime. Okay. So, what is the total surplus? Sum of these two areas is the total surplus. Okay. So, so how much consumer surplus is getting reduced? Look, if we do not impose any tariff, this much additional consumer surplus we can get after the imposition of the tariff, this much additional consumer surplus we are getting. When I am telling this much additional, that additional is over and above ACE domestically or closed economic kind of situation, what kind of total surplus we could generate. Vis a vis, this is the closed economic situation total social surplus. If we engage into international trade or participate into import without any tariff, we can get E k 1 u 1 that much of additional total social surplus, but after the imposition of the so total surplus could be this this much plus that much when there is no tariff. When there is tariff social surplus is this much plus E k 2 e 2 amount. Okay. So, basically social surplus is getting reduced by k 1, k 2, e 2, e 1 that area social surplus is getting reduced right. But out of that, out of that this area, this area ok. Suppose this point I am telling m and this point I am telling as n out of that k 2 e 2 n m this rectangular area is what that rectangular area is basically tariff revenue what government is gaining why because m n distance is the amount of import after the imposition of tariff ok and p 2 p 2 prime p 2 p 2 prime that is the amount of tariff per unit of the import. So, this is the total tariff revenue government is gaining. So, what is the net loss? Net loss is this dark triangle, this dark triangle plus this dark triangle. These are the net loss of the social surplus due to imposition of the tariff. Okay. This net loss look at this portion of the net loss is due to under consumption after the imposition of the tariff. Why under consumption? Because if there is no tariff that time consumption could be until this much. Due to tariff this much consumption can is only happening by our domestic customers. So, this much consumption is cut down this much. So, because of that this much of consumer surplus we are losing and what is the this thing? This area is uh, say surplus loss I am telling surplus loss due to under consumption this this triangular area this right side black black shaded triangular area and left side black shaded triangular area is surplus loss 
due to over production, over production. Why over production? Look, if there is no tariff, how much production our domestic economy or domestic producers can do? Say, suppose this is say uh, Q8, O Q8 amount only. Okay. After the imposition of the tariff, price rate effectively increased from O P2 to O P2 prime. As a result, say Q8, Q9 in between who are the sellers, they are able to participate into the market little bit little. So, due to government tariffs policy, relatively some inefficient producers are able to participate into the market. Since they are inefficient, they are getting some burden on the society. So, that is why for the extra production, we are getting some loss. So, this, this loss of the surplus is surplus loss due to under consumption. Left side loss of the surplus is loss of the surplus due to over production. Over production by whom? Over production by the relatively inefficient producers who are domestic producer, but they are relatively inefficient. If government do not impose any tariff until this, until this producers only can sustain. After the imposition of the tariff, some relatively inefficient producers could also sustain in the market, could also participate into the market and they are creating term, some burden to the society. So, as a result society is going to get some uh, surplus loss, right. So, this is the thing. So, what we are getting? First answer yes, we should open up our boundary for international trade. Second answer yes, one group of the domestic people will gain and another group will lose depending on whether we are, we are exporting or importing. Okay. But total society will gain on a totality, entire society will gain on a totality. Third, when we are importing whether we should impose any restriction on import, first, first thing is that we surely do not uh, should not import any uh, restriction through tariff. Now, the question remains whether we should impose any uh, restriction through quota. Why we are telling only this two, this black triangular area and this black triangular area, two black triangular area is the net loss or these two are the basically dead weight loss, both are dead weight loss. Okay. One dead weight loss that is the net surplus loss I am telling, one dead weight loss due to under consumption, another dead weight loss due to over production. Okay. But remaining thing, this thing why that is not a part of the loss? Because that is the tariff revenue coming back, our government is gaining that much of money. So, although a large amount of say in this diagram, although K2, E2, E1, K1, that much of surplus is lost, but a section of that, this much of the uh, that part of the surplus is coming back to our government or our society in terms of tariff revenue. So, whatever remaining thing that is the dead weight loss, that is why these two black portions are the dead weight loss, our country is losing. Okay. So, message is that we should not impose any restriction on our import using tariff channel. So, we have already discussed if a country wants to impose certain uh, restriction on its imports uh, through uh, introduction of some tariff, right? Uh, at the end of the day, we have we have shown that the tariff is actually uh, creating or or it is it is uh, it is uh, not going to beneficial for that country who is import who is imposing some tariff to restrict its import. Right. Now, what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss that if the other way, because as we already told that uh, any country who wants to restrict its import through channels it can do, either imposing some tariff or import, uh, imposing some quota, quota means quantity restriction on import. Right. So, let us see if that country wants to go to import or impose some quota restriction whether it will be beneficial for that country or exactly the tariff, tariff restriction or tariff imposition of tariff kind of case, it will also reduce that country's social welfare or total welfare, 
right. So, let us see the for that let us draw a diagram ok. I am drawing this diagram little bit bigger to make you understand this is a suppose uh, this is the domestic demand curve ok. This is the domestic supply curve ok and this is the international price level. So, O P is the international price level ok. So, uh, perhaps O P star and O Q star. So, O P star is the domestic equilibrium price, O Q star is the domestic equilibrium quantity when this country uh, did not open up its uh, international border for the international trade ok. But if it open up international border or for the international trade ok or its border for international trade then O P 1 O P 1 uh, suppose is the world price level. So, world price level is below the uh, closed economy or domestically equilibrium price level. So, definitely it is an import kind of situation right. So, basically at that that price level. So, domestic equilibrium price will be O P 1 that is the effective price. So, this was the closed economy equilibrium price closed economy equilibrium price closed economy equilibrium price and this will be open economy equilibrium price right by closed economy by open economy what we are referring you understood ok. So, in this particular case so how much total uh, surplus will be there producer surplus will reduce to this much which could be this much if the country do not open up its boundary or its border for international trade. So, producer surplus is falling by this blue trapezoid kind of area, but consumer surplus which could be uh, which could be this triangular area upper triangular area that is increasing to now this bigger triangular area green colored bigger triangular area. So, as a result although uh, although uh, producer surplus is falling consumer surplus is increasing and consumer surplus is incre outweighing increment in consumer surplus is actually exceeding the reduction in producer surplus by this triangular area this shaded kind of triangular area ok. So, that shaded kind of triangular area is the additional social surplus which is generated within the society by participating in international trade. If it did not participate in international trade total social surplus could be this black black border triangular area right. Now, suppose this country is going to import impose some uh, import restriction through quota ok. So, how it will happen look at here say suppose as usual this is the demand curve domestic demand curve this is the domestic supply curve this is the international price level right. So, this much could be import right earlier diagram this could this could be the import amount. So, this much could be import right. So, that import actually country is not allowing to import that much ok rather country is allowing to import this much only that is the quota ok. This is the quota of import import quota. So, if that is the import quota right what will be the equilibrium or effective supply curve domestic supply curve. Look this was the supply curve this red line was the say or S S 1 is the supply curve ok. But when this country open up its border its boundary for uh, uh, for import right this is an importing situation right. Effective supply curve will be this red color this 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 say suppose S 2 A B. So, effective supply curve will be S A B S 2 why that will be effective supply curve look 
until a point domestic suppliers can supply ok at this price O P 1 price level ok. After that that O P 1 price level how much commodity domestic customers can purchase until P 1 B amount of commodity until this point no P 1 B amount of commodity they can purchase because at O P 1 price level this much commodity is available this much domestically and that much imported from the outside right. Now, if this country or consumers of this countries they wants to consume even more commodity of the more amount of that same commodity how it can manage it has to produce that domestically right that is why from B point from this is the B point from B S 2 point will be the effective supply curve. So, supply curve will be this thing ok and this is the demand curve. So, this is the equilibrium price level ok. So, this is the equilibrium price level at that price level everybody thing is transacted ok. So, look at here how much so, social surplus is going to reduce ok. So, social surplus is going to reduce by this trapezoid area this trapezoid area right. Now, since this line and this line is parallel right if I take there is a vertical this thing right. So, this distance say suppose this is B 1 and this is say C 1. So, definitely A B 1 this is exactly equals to B C 1 because this line and this line are parallel and this vertical and this vertical are parallel to each other right. So, these two distance are same. So, now this social surplus what is the reduction in social surplus overall surplus out of that this rectangular area we can think of that it is coming back to the society in terms of what in terms of the additional gain by the import license holders our people only some business house of our society they are importing commodities from outside and they are selling the product in the domestic market they are importing at what price they are importing at this price at what price they are selling that imported product at this price they are selling. So, definitely per unit of output they are or per unit of import they are gaining that much of uh, extra profit kind of thing. So, this is the revenue they are generating. So, this is coming back to our society in terms of license earning or yeah additional earning by the quota license holders of our society's people right. So, what is the thing? So, total total amount of loss net loss to the society is basically this green triangular area this green triangular area right side and left side this green triangular area. Look this entire thing is the net loss due to imposition of the quota out of that this is coming back to the society ok in terms of additional gain by the quota license holders ok. So, definitely this is one part of the loss and this is another part of the net loss ok. Why this is the so A B is actually the amount of quota and that is the amount of import ok. And we are claiming that A B is exactly B 1 C 1 because A B 1 and B C 1 are the same distance ok that is the thing. So, again our net net loss of the social surplus is this black black color triangle in the left side and this black color triangle in the right side and exactly like tariff case we can interpret that this loss is basically dead weight loss due to under consumption under consumption because if there is no quota restriction consumption could be until this point due to quota restriction consumption is going to be up to this point only. So, that is why this much of under consumption and due to that this is the dead weight loss due to under consumption. If there is no quota restriction right this much could be the domestic production after this quota restriction effectively price has increased little bit as a result few more producer can sustain at that price. So, domestic production in this much 
So, definitely this dead weight loss is due to over production, over production by relatively inefficient producer of our society. Okay. So, exactly the same way the way what we have uh, introduced or what we have demonstrated uh, demonstrated using the uh, tariff restriction kind of thing, if it imports some tariff, it will have some dead weight loss. Exactly the same way alternatively if the country imposes some quota restriction also, it will have some dead weight loss, it is some, it is going to only reduce the total social welfare which could be generated by participating in international trade. So, lesson what we are getting that yes, even if when it is an importing situation right, this country should not impose any kind of restriction on its imports neither through imposition of any tariff nor through imposition of any quota restriction right. So, this is the thing. So, the three results what we are getting on the three questions what we have started with whether it should open up its border answer is yes. If it is open up who will get benefited and who will lose? Okay. If it is an export situation producers will get benefited and consumers will lose domestic, domestic producer, domestic consumers in that sense we are talking about. Alternatively, if it is import situation consumers will get benefited and producers will get uh, loss or uh, will lose, okay. but on a totality society will gain. Since during the import thing it is we are purchasing commodities from outside, should we impose any restriction? Answer is no. If we import, uh, impose any restriction either by tariff or by quota, it will only create some dead or loss or through that amount of dead or loss, it is going to reduce the social welfare of that country. Okay. So, we are getting this larger lesson, it should be the international trade is allowed economy should be open up and trade should be free without any restriction. Then why we, we see in, in almost every country if you see who are participating in international trade they, are, they used to put some restriction on that international trade. Usually five arguments are there why they impose some restriction. One is the job loss argument, job loss argument means what? When we are importing some commodities from outside right. So, basically the which we are importing from outside, if we could produce that domestically, right? our people, our factors of production can get some job, our people can get some employment. right? So, when we are importing from outside, some of our societal people, they are losing their job. So, due to this job loss argument, sometimes some country used to uh, impo impose some, cut, some sort of restriction on import national security argument. What is the national security argument? All of you know that Royal Enfield there is a bike, okay, very attractive bike, right. But do you know that what is that Enfield company? Actually Enfield is a British company, they are known for making gun, weapon, okay, firearm kind of thing, okay. So, that say suppose uh, India is importing guns from Enfield company of the UK. England, right? If tomorrow there is an some uh, political tension is there between India and UK, okay? UK may not uh, willing to uh, sell that gun to us, right? So our security may be compromised, okay? So that is why that uh, industries or product uh, product or uh, which are related to our domestic security kind of thing, usually any country wants to produce that domestically within, within their country not importing from outside. Okay. So, actually Enfield company uh, when they are starting their production of Royal Enfield bike, no, they claim that uh, our bike goes like a bullet. That is why people sometimes call this Royal Enfield bike as bullet also, bullet came in that, that sense. Okay. So, anyway, anyway, so this uh, national security is another argument, infant industry argument means say uh, certain industries are there which are developed in western countries, but under developed and developing countries those in industries may not be that much developed. So, unless you give, so, so, so under developed countries or developing countries those industries are at their infant stage. Okay. So, unless you give some sort of support to those industries, they cannot grow, they cannot mature, right. So, that is why due, due to the uh, 
infant industry argument that is some actually initially that argument brought by the Frederick List one German economist who first canvassed for that argument that uh, industries which are at infant stage domestically which are at their infant stage it is better uh, to give them some support and you try to avoid uh, the product which this industry is going to produce that product you try to avoid importing from outside. So, that you can give some uh, seed bed or some, uh, some nurturing time supporting nurturing kind of atmosphere to that industry to grow ok that is that is another argument ok then, then another argument is there ok uh, unfair trade competition kind of thing right. So, our industry is not that much grown up and it needs some support to grow and mature and to be able to successfully compete with the uh, developed industries in from the developed or very advanced industries same 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 commodity produ production industry ok from the developed countries right. So, if you when our industry domestic industry is not that much developed right if you that time import right our industry will not be able to sustain the competition from the developed uh, countries uh, producers right. So, that is why uh, if you so since the competition is unfair at the initial stage of growing up of our one industry that time you should give some support to this industry and as uh, uh, through what through put some uh, putting some restriction on import right uh, 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 restriction as a bargaining cheap argument. So, sometimes you no know, in the trade international trade right uh, if we put some restriction our bargaining power with the other countries or our with our trade partners increases you can see that last 2 3 years you no know, there is a uh, trade related uh, fight between usa and china two very large countries in the world right usa is import, in, imposing certain restriction on chinese export to us as a counter uh, so, China is also impo imposing certain restriction on US products to China Chinese market. So, in that way they are utilizing this restriction as a bargaining chip to bargain among themselves. So, these kinds of five arguments are there job loss argument, national security argument, infant industry argument, unfair trade practices argument or and this uh, trade uh, restriction as a bargaining cheap argument. These kinds of arguments are there usually put forth or put forward to uh, favoring uh, putting some restriction on import. Even theoretically we have established that if I we put some restriction on import it will the country who is going to put restriction on its import that country is going to only lose its social welfare generation through uh, generation of some dead weight loss within the society. Let us stop here.